I'm coming in with the battalion behind me. Ah! I'm gonna knock you out. Get from in front of me. Cause I'm coming in with the battalion behind me. <laughs> Just right here tonight. I hope you're excited because I know I am. Ladies and gentlemen, here he comes. Ladies Don't get too excited, Shano. He's sitting next to you. Tonight's guest color commentator, X Brilliant, Steve Arsenault. Steve Arsenault, join us here, join us here on commentary. It's gonna be very interesting to see what the X-rated megastar has to say here. I'm sure it's uh, gonna be non-stop, I'll say. <laughs> we'll have to pick our spots. Coming out to the ring with Crusher. One of the Maritime Wrestling School graduates. As of late, he's uh, come out of his shell, if you will and really made an impact here in IHW. Why don't you two goons show a little respect? Because here he is, X-rated Steve Arsenault, joining us on commentary, Daddy. I'll show him as much uh, respect as he deserves, which in my opinion is, you know, a lot, but... You're just saying it's a lot because he has headphones on now, you coward. I would like to welcome myself to this broadcast. It's been, it's been long enough waiting on greatness. Greatness finally arrives. And speaking of greatness, I want all of you to take a look in the ring because that's greatness right there. X-Fit, Kirk Obey, the future of IHW. And mark my words, I'm the man that called that. I tend to agree with you right now, Mr. Ersno. And I'm gonna call you Mr. Ersno. I'll be much more respectful than these two dudes. What did you think of what I said, Shano? I don't care what you think. No one does. Mr. Langell, I think we're in for a treat. I, I definitely agree. What do you mean, man, because I'm here? Because the wild man Gary Williams is here. You know, this guy was amazing. He was great 20 years ago. His time is over. <laughs> His day is done. Today and this day forward is Kirk Bay's time. Mark my words. No disrespect. No disrespect, Steve. A wild man is a legend. You gotta give a legend his due. Yeah, so is Moses from the Bible, and he's probably just as old as Gary Williams. <laughs> I'm gonna get comfortable here, Shano. Do you mind? No. I don't care if you mind. <laughs> Gary Williams up on the second rope here. Let me tell you something, Daddy. Gary Williams better not take the CrossFit beast lightly, because Kirk Obey does not come by the name Crusher by accident, Daddy. Well, just to educate you, Crusher is what the quote-unquote office decided to call this man. He is ex-fit, he is Kirk Obey, and he is the future of this company. I tend to agree with that. I won't take anything away from Kirk Obey, that's for sure. Well, you better not, because he would smack you right in the mouth. I don't doubt it. And you would cry. I'd argue that point. He's crying already. That's Are you true. mad? Are you upset that I'm being a little bit rough with you, Shano? Are you? No, sir. I don't care if you're upset. Now let's watch this match. Let's watch as X-Fit Kirk Obey dismantles Gary Williams. The ring bell, the ring is, yeah, the bell is rung. We are underway here. Did you just say the ring is bell? I did. Am I making you nervous? Just relax. I know you've done this before. Have you done this before? Yes, I have, sir. Surprise to me. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't, 
You may remember on our last episode of IHW Unstoppable, the rock star Chris Cole called Kirk Obe a future IHW heavyweight champion. Do you see this? Look at this ring. Do you see the disrespect this man is a legend? Are you kidding me? You get respect when you show respect, I guess, Steve. No, you get respect from beating respect out of people, and that's exactly what Kirk Obe is about to do. Kirk Obe forced into the corner early here by Gary Williams. And a clean break. Gary makes his way back out to the middle of the ring. Clean break makes me sick. He's not wrong, man. He's an old man. Kirk Obe talking some smack there about Wildman. No, he called him old, which is exactly what he is. That's not talking smack, that's talking Look at that. truth. Look at the power of Kirk Obe. It's a beautiful thing. Look at that. A clean break. We did. We what got a clean a break. What a professional. Good man. Amazing work. And a bit of a taunt there as he uh, moves backwards. Moves forward, moves backwards. Who taught you how to do this? The two men are lining up in the ring. The crowd is on the edge of the seat. What is going to happen? What anticipation? What excitement? That's how you do that. That was, that was pretty good. That, that, that was, was amazing. Good. It was amazing. I think I need a new commentary partner. All right, who's doing play by play? Someone call this. We got an arm wrench. I think we're all a little scared to say something right now. We're a little, little nervous here, but... I'm going to take a deep breath and try to relax. All right. I'm going to try. I don't know if I'm actually going to do it. <laughs> don't laugh. Reversal there to be by Kirk Obey. Look at Kirk Obey. This is a textbook, textbook arm wrench, arm ringer. He's got him in that... And look at Gary Williams. Did you see that? Did you see he grabbed it, yes. his tape. He grabbed the tape to get him out of that. Oh, I did not on, see Rockstar. that. You guys would never see. Why don't you guys ever see it when people cheat? <laughs> oh, good God. Are you serious? Kirk Bay makes it to the ropes, forcing a, uh, a break here. It's good, good strategy right there. IHW fans letting Kirk Bay know what they think. And again, what they think really doesn't matter. If they knew what the hell they were talking about, they wouldn't be saying that Kirk Obey sucked. Just voicing their opinion, but I, I will disagree. Kirk Obey definitely is far from sucking. He's extremely talented. And I mean, really, can you take the opinion of a mass amount of people who have never brushed their teeth? <laughs> you know that's not true, Rockstar. I don't think I know that it's not true. Kirk Obey with his headlock cinched in here. Gary Williams now shots to the midsection, breaks the hold, and now a devastating chop of the wild man. Strike on the ropes, completely illegal. Did you see that? He grabbed him by the hair. Did you guys feel that? I felt that in my feet. Yeah, what amazing, an, uh, an amazing maneuver there by Gary Williams. I think Lazarus taught him that one. The CrossFit beast out to the floor here. I'm pretty sure he caught it to Lazarus. It's a smart move, getting outside the ring, getting your composure, taking a breather. I don't know who taught who, but they're both old as dirt. This is true. Now, Kirk Obey, see, he's doing the intelligent thing right now. He's actually just taking a breather, collecting himself. Old man Gary Williams in the ring, look at him, he's exhausted, his hands are on his knees. It's only a matter of time before the X-Fist beast dismantles this guy. I don't know if we're looking at the same guy in the ring. I was going to say, that's the wild Look man. This. Look at Gary Williams. G Gary Williams chasing him off the ropes like a coward so he can catch his breath. Well, he's like just a scared. Coward. He is scared to let Kirk Obey back in the ring. And honestly, I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to be in the ring with him. That's why me and him, we are going to click. We are both killers in this ring. Gary Williams has had enough. Oh, he got caught. Genius. I guess, I guess Gary should have let him back in the ring. Now look, you're paying the price. You deserve that, Gary Williams. Shots from behind by Kirk Obey. Vicious. Did you see the look on his face? I'm telling you, since, since you and Kirk Obey have teamed up there, Steve, uh, he's come out of his shell. He's, he's a dangerous man. I got to give him credit. 
You see, that's the problem, and that has always been the problem. Do you think the management of IHW were going to give this man that opportunity? No, I gave him that opportunity because I know the type of athlete he is. I know the killer that he is in the ring, and it was me that opened the door for that. He just walked through and was the man, the performer that I knew he always would be. Gary Williams firing out of the corner here. Look at that close fist, did you see that? That was a big right hand. And that was a midsection chop. right hand. Snaps him over. It's called a snap mare. Oh, are you kidding me? Drives his boots square to the shoulder blades there. That one hurt. Oh, come on. <laughs> Thumb to the eye. No, nah, that was legal. I love that. He did you see that? He got him right in the forehead. It that was, was so that was, hard. That was the legal. I, I think they changed the rules. I think I you're allowed to do eye pokes now. I've heard of no, selective he hearing, forehead. but I've never heard of selective seeing. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, no, I saw it. I'm just pretty sure it's legal. Devastating elbow by Kirk Obey, the wild man in trouble here. Going for the cover. That's it. Wild man out of the count of one. It's going to take more than that to keep the wild man down. Definitely not enough to keep a guy like Gary Williams on the mat. Long day at work keeps Gary Williams on the mat. I was going to say 10 double cheeseburgers and a six pack of beer will probably keep him on his back, which is exactly what he ate prior to this match. Well, except for the beer. He drank that. He didn't eat it. Now, look at this. Look at this. He's about to tap out. You guys seeing this? Hands up. I'm seeing the ref saying that he's saying no. No, he was saying, yo, do you tap out? Matt Pettifer keeping an eye on this just signaled that the wild man has not given up here. Referee Mr. Peanut needs to open his ears. Gary Williams trying to get back to his feet here. Why are all these people clapping? Oh, see and that? Down right back he goes. Down. Right back down. That exact same thing happens when he gets out of bed in the morning. The CrossFit <laughs> beast. He might be too the much. I gotta say, beast. oh, I take that back. Look at the look on Gary Williams' face. Come on. Huge kick to the midsection, Come on, setting up for it. Yes, yes, we planned for that. He went for the Ryle driver, and we had that scouted. That's it. That's the only trick that Gary Williams has left, and we have that covered. I got to give credit where credit's due. It was very well scouted by the CrossFit Beast. The X -Fit, X Fit Beast. Beast. How many times do I have to correct you? My bad, my bad. I know it's your bad. I said six times, X Fit. Gary Williams getting stomped in the corner here. Mr. R. Snow, can you stick around for a while? As oh. long as you stop pronouncing my name in that stupid French way. It's not Arsenal, it's Arsenal. Arsenal, like arsenal of weapons, arsenal of moves. I am not, nor have never been French. Now that I know that, your last name's way cooler. Yeah, no, I know. It was always way cool. Everything uh, about me is way cool. But what about the I'm gonna go on this, record. What's going on in the ring right now is way cool because Kirk Obey is about to end the legend, the myth of Gary Williams. I will admit, he is in, in control here and has been most of this matchup. Well, you better admit it. It's true. So it's Arsenal? Listen, Cole. You just call the match in the ring. Kirk Kobe is a boat. Oh, just got his jaw rocked. I'm by sorry, Gary that's because I distracted you. Sorry that's just that. a temporary setback. Come on, Kirk. I don't know, man. He looks pretty out of it. He does X Fit. The crowd behind Gary Williams here. Gary's trying to get to his feet. He's going to need more than the crowd. Don't, underest don't underestimate the power of the crowd. Gary with repeated left hands. Oof. And down goes Kirk Obey. And the second time. Kick to the midsection. No, no, no. Swinging neck breaker. Go over Come the on, cover Curtis here. Come on, Kirk. Once Kick again, out. a fistful of hair. That was only a two. We're good. That We're was two. good. We're good. No, 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 no. Spins him around no. here. Yes, see, we scouted it. We scouted Look it. Look at that, beautiful. I'm, I'm starting to believe you. That's Come on, twice Kirk. now. Come on, Kirk. Oh. Rolls him up here. Look at that fistful of tights. Oh, my oh. God. It's over. 
can't believe it! I can't believe Disgusting. it! Disgusting, a fistful of tights. Kirk Obey! One, two, three, buddy, how's it feel? Mr. Gary Mix Wood. ran to Steve Arsenal. Can't believe what he just saw. Arsenal. 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 My bad. You're right, Rockstar. You're right. Which, I mean, technically, it's still I, a French word, but whatever. I don't. You, you. Kirk Obey looks a little confused here. Says it was a fast count. Fast count, plus he had the tights. Gary Williams making his way back here. That's right. You might want to. I'm not saying. Close your mouth, I'm saying you might not want to speak to Wildman that way. Disgusting display. Gary Williams being called out by Steve Arsenal. And that just shows you the tides can change in the blink of an eye here at IHW. Let what me mistake? tell you something. Let me tell you both something. That was a fistful of tights, a fast count. It was disgusting. I don't know if you and I are watching the same match, Rockstar. That's not what I saw. Well, obviously you had your eyes closed, Lanzo. I saw Kirk Obey run into the corner. Stop it! Made a mistake and paid the price with a three count. Kirk Obey covering his ears now. IHW fans letting this me this megastar know what they think. You know what, though? Look at him. It doesn't even seem to phase him. He's upset, but he, uh, he could give a crap. Coming up tonight, Titus versus Brody Steele with a guest referee. Who's it going to be, Rockstar? Brody Steele, you and I have been up and down these roads many a times, but they're in my house. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to pin you down to that mat. One, two, three. Whether it means me tearing down my own house, punk. Coming at you every Thursday, it's the podcast that constantly asks WTF. My name's Brian Lanzo. the Rockstar Chris Cole, Daddy! And we are the hosts of What's the Finish, a maritime produced podcast that covers music, sports, video games, and all things pop culture while counting down to the big finish, the biggest story of the week. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and iTunes. It's What's the Finish, available every Thursday. Let me tell you something, Angel Daddy O. contest is scheduled for one fall currently in the ring from mexico city mexico weighing in at 170 pounds el fuego dragon the high flyer el fuego dragon waiting his opponent waiting for his opponent here oh god almighty Another young up and cover here in IHW. Very impressed with him so far. Chip Chambers is going to have one solid future here in IHW. I still don't understand his gear. Is he the king of the skeletons? No, it's just cool. You should know that stuff. Skulls are awesome. You're a rock star. Uh, yeah, but I'm not the king of the skeletons like Skeletor over no, there. No, trust me. Looking at you, I can tell you're nowhere close to a skeleton. Oh, your guys' banter is so entertaining. The fact of the matter is, this is going to be a case of a match having all sizzle and no steak. The two guys in the <laughs> ring care so much. They care so much about entertaining these cra this crowd, this big group of morons, that they take their eyes off the prize, and for that reason, they will never be successful the way that I am successful. You know, I can't argue with your success. I definitely can. Well, you can argue with it, but again, you would be wrong, and you would lose said argument. I don't know, man. I think the adulation of the fans is something that, that hypes you up. It's something that gets you going. You can feed off the energy of a crowd. Well, that's because you're an idiot and your opinion doesn't matter, but that's okay. <laughs> Chip Chambers taking off his 16 layers of clothes. It's only 32 degrees in this building, but I guess he's cold when you only have a little bit of meat on your bones. I bet yeah, you his right, stomach Daddy. isn't cold, though. You never <laughs> run out of the words, do you, Steve? 
when I sleep. That's when I stop talking. Do you got a problem think with it's that? Them. No, and I don't not even at all. sleep not that much. I wasn't implying I and, had an issue Shano, at all. Shano, show a little respect. It's Mr. Arsenal. I've got nothing but respect for Steve Arsenal. Arsenal That's with a hard said, L sound at the end. Arsenal. Arsenal. La, 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 la. What about the T? It's silent. Oh. That's crazy. English. That, English. That crazy French tea. commentating at a different table. The crappy table. Yeah. This is the English table. This, this is, is the good table. The IHW fans, big fans of Chip Chambers. I said fans too many times there. Oh, yeah. He uh, he, he really was uh, a, an originator there asking the wrestling crowd if they want wrestling. That's like asking Oprah if she wants a turkey. Yeah. Of course, the answer is yes. Look at the show of respect, a handshake to start this match off. And now we are underway. Sickens me. Uh, it's disgusting, isn't it? These two men are out here to compete, to be the best. And you do that by taking every shortcut that you can. You win any way possible. This shaking the hand crap. Well, we saw it a week or two ago. They shook hands. They're, they're friends. These guys have a lot of respect well, for each other. Well, maybe they should go bowling and get the hell out of my ring. <laughs> They'd probably be bad at that, too. Leg scissors by El Fuego Dragon. Chip Chambers on his back early here. Oh, yeah. Take time to clap. Take time to get out of it, you moron. Very nice. Nice reversal now. He is a headlock. And El Fuego Dragon... Is now on defense. Chambers smiles all the time. He's yeah, a happy guy. It's because he's an idiot. <laughs> Stupid people are more happy. That's true. Ignorance is bliss. Why do you think that is? Why do you, why do you think stupid people are happier? If I was to the ignorance is bliss. Are you really asking me that question? Why well, are he you is happy? Stupid. Why are you happy? He doesn't know Whatever he's reason is, that's why. All right, fair enough. Shoulder block and down goes Chip Chambers. Oh. Leap He almost didn't get over. Nope. Oh. See, that's the problem. Here's a cover. Going for the cover here. One. Referee wasn't in position at all. See, that's the problem when you go for these high risk, high impact moves. The margin for error is so small. Rolls him up. Only a count of two. An exchange of pins. Looking good. These guys know each other very well. Hooks himself on the top rope. Chip oh. Chambers now rolling That's a him cover. up again. Half Nelson. Where is our referee? Foot on the ropes. I think that bandana around his head is too tight. It's cutting off the circulation to his brain. Ryan McKay is a fantastic official. I don't think that's. A, I think that's and just an ugly his hair. man. See, to me, this is wasting time. He's smiling. He's throwing his scrunchy, his little girl scrunchy at the crowd. <laughs> Kick to the midsection. Chip Chambers here. Going for a suplex. And drops El Fuego Dragon. Look, Look at, at the people pain. clapping for everything. What is this, Japan? Huge leg drop by Chip Chambers. I know, I know why you're confused, Rockstar, because no one ever clapped during your matches. And now a devastating knee. Chip Chambers threw away his uh, scrunchie there, and now he's having trouble with hair in his eyes. Drives his head into the uh, top rope, or sorry, the turnbuckle. Multiple right hands. Makes his way across the ring here. Looks like he's sizing up El Fuego Dragon into the corner. El Fuego Dragon going for the tarantula. He hooks it. Ah, uh, he's got his feet caught in the rope. He's got yeah, his feet caught he's in the rope. He didn't get that. There. He didn't these... get that. There was no damage done. But this idiot audience cheering a move that Look, is blatantly wasting illegal. Wasting time again. I hope you fall on your face. From the top rope, flying body press. I'm not going to lie to you. I just hope both these guys get hurt. That's just rude, Rockstar. That is. But true. Alpha Wago Dragon waiting for Chip Chambers to get to his feet here. Oh! See, he went for that twice. And that's that was right. stupid on his part. 
I don't know about stupid. stupid. Definitely not a good decision. Oh no, it was very intelligent. It was a smart decision. Let me jump up and fall on my face. No, it was <laughs> stupid. It was a stupid move. And he's paying the price. He's paying the price now, Chip Chambers. Is he gonna shake his hand now that he kicked him in the back? This that sportsman the sportsmanship is making me literally sick to my stomach. Well, there heads a point where there's sportsmanship and you're in it to win it. Let's get back to the action here. El Fuego Dragon ducks under the duck, ducks under it again. Caught a by Chip Chambers elbow. and right into the top turnbuckle with authority. I like that. Mess up that face. Mess it up real good. Smile now, dummy. Okay, now Fuego Dragon needs to get to the corner and kick him in the in the crotch. Huge splash. Going for a second one. No. Nope. Monkey flip out of the corner. Uh. Chip Didn't Chambers quite get all the ride. Chip Chambers is back up right away. Oh! Is that enough, though? I don't think he caught all of that. I think, oh, he's picking it back up. But I think that was enough. Oh! Nails a hits second it again. springboard stunner going for the cover. And it is all over. Chip Chambers has defeated El Fuego Dragon. Yay. With not one, but two springboard stunners. Cutters. I would say cutter, isn't it? They stunner? both looked amazing. That's why I don't know. Stunner, cutter. It was phenomenal. The connection, beautiful. Well, you know, if you connect halfway on both of them, it does make a hole. It makes one. one. Yeah, yeah, two halves do make a hole. Yeah. And right now, this is a whole bunch of crap in the middle of the ring. Referee oh, Brian go help McKay. him up. Go help him up. Yeah. Help him up and shake his hand. I gotta tell you, you I guys will limp to the back together. You'll hold hands. You'll go watch the new Hunter Games movie together and share a large popcorn. Oh look! Oh, oh. look at the show of oh, respect oh. here. I think I just puked in my mouth a little bit. I gotta say, I don't, um, I don't know how much heart was behind that handshake. Two, two springboard cutters. Then the look on Chambers' face, there was anger there. I have some, I have some Pepto-Bismol. I'm used to being sick to my stomach because of these two goons, if you want some. That's because you would not eat nothing but garbage. No, I work with nothing but garbage. <laughs> Except for tonight. Except for tonight. Tonight Excuse you're me. with an actual legend. Ladies and gentlemen, still to come up on this episode of Bell TV One, Titus For the last Brody couple Steel, weeks, everywhere I go, people come to referee. me and say, you know that Titus guy? He's a great wrestler. He's become a household name around here. Well, I'll tell you, I was a household name around here when he was still on his mother's teeth. I'm tired of him. I'm gonna put him out of this business once and for all. I will always be the man. Ha! Gimmick. He's the red warrior, not the black and white idiot. Well, 
if you uh, if you tuned in a week or two ago to IHW Unstoppable, you would have seen a triple threat match between Chip Chambers, El Fuego Dragon, and Shane Stevens. Okay, that, that all was seemed like to get along ago, fine idiot. at the beginning, but he walked away from it. He was not impressed with the handshake at the end, which is something that apparently Steve Arsenal and Rockstar Chris Cole can get behind, his lack oh, yeah. of respect. And his opponent, uh, God. No, this no, no, this no, no, this one of the most popular megastars in IHW history. Oh, look, push up. His look resume him. speaks for itself. Nine years of Greco-Roman wrestling. Julian Young, one of my all-time favorites. You know, it's, it's funny all these people mention this nine years of Greco-Roman amateur wrestling. No one ever mentions that he's a former innovative hybrid wrestling champion. And I'll tell you right now, he didn't sit there and placate to the plebeians here in the audience when he was the IHW champion. So maybe, just maybe, he should stop cheering with all these idiots in the audience and he'll become a champion again. Did he'll you a see again. the amount of energy wasted? Wasted. You want to do push-ups? You want to do sit-ups? You want to do a nip-up? I'll tell you what, if this man ever steps in the ring with me again, he's going to need to conserve every ounce of energy that he has. Matt Pettifer calling for the bell. We are underway. Shane Stevens, Julian Another Young, handshake. Another handshake. Again. You guys are hating What is this? this? The Friendship Wrestling Federation? It, it's Tra-La-La Fru-Fru Wrestling. There's nothing wrong with showing respect to your opponent. Disagree. Julian Young slamming down here. Disgusting Showing display. off his amateur skills in the ring. Usual disrespect from Julian Young. Has him in a side headlock. Trying to get out of it. Shoulder block and... Julian Young in control here early. You see, that's another problem. He's going for a cover within the first two minutes of the matchup. I don't know what he expects. It was a very innovative pin. A very innovative pin. A very innovative pin. Is that what you said? Do you think that's going to win the match? Well, you never know. The element of no, surprise. I do know. And he did it, didn't. Shano, do you remember when we were in that battle royal and I punched you in the face? Yeah, I do. Keep it up and I'm going to do it again. Do it now. Go. I would love to see that. I'm looking. Headlock by Julian Young. Just let me know first. You'll hear the smack. Well, I want to see it, though. Gentlemen, we have a match underway here. If we could pay attention to that. You don't All right, call it. Call, call it. Shot to the mid side headlock. Go, go ahead. Side headlock. Kicks out of it. We have some strong leg kicks by Shane Stevens. Shane Stevens hits the ropes. Hits a go behind. He grabs him at the ropes. Another wrestling throw, but Shane rolls it off. They duck. And a spinning back kick. Do you want to take over? Or do you want me to do all the nope. jobs? Thank you for play by play, Thank color. You, sir. I'll wrestle. I'll sing you a song. Kick out at the count of two, Shane Stevens. That was really good. Thought, yeah, it was really good. I know, it was amazing. I'm amazing at this. I'm amazing in the ring. I'm amazing on the microphone. And that actually, you know what? That was an amazing elbow drop right there by Shane Stevens. I will give him credit where credit is due. Gets a two count out of it. Now, oh, kick, to the, kick to the upper chest here. And a nut, oh, that was a knee, sorry. Let me tell you something. Shane Stevens being pretty vicious right now. I kind of like it. We got caught by Julian Young. Capture suplex coming up. Devastating by Julian Young. Shane that was Stevens pretty. going for the cover. Not enough to keep Shane Stevens down. Shane Stevens, super resilient, man. Yay, clapping. -la -la -la. Quick Again, reversal. Just, they've never heard it before, Rockstar. Side Russian leg sweep. Julian again going for an unorthodox pin. Have I mentioned that I hope Shano gets hit by an 18-wheeler after the show? I hope you fall down a flight of stairs. I hope he gets hit by an 18-wheeler and you fall down a flight of stairs at the same time while I eat popcorn. <laughs> 
But you Except and I, for I don't eat popcorn because it's unhealthy. I'll eat some. I'll, I'll eat some carrot sticks or something. What about kale chips? Shut up. You and I are cool, right? No. no. We're, 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 you and I. I don't even know you. Who are you? Have you been here the whole time? Have you been talking too? I I have actually. We're cool. Man. You must have been riveting me. Tilt a world backbreaker by Julian that's Young. That's what it was. It's just you're not sitting next to him. He smells. It's, that's how I know he's here. That's your breath blowing back in your face, Rockstar. <laughs> Shane Stevens on his back here. Julian Young taking a moment here to show. He's going for his trademark elbow. Yes, just so he you is. Know, in case you haven't watched this show before. Looks Shane like he was Stevens scouted. saw it coming. Shot to the midsection from the outside. Julian Young up and over and caught in the middle of the ring with a drop kick. Man, Shane Stevens has done his homework tonight. He has. Again, I will give credit to anybody that kicks, punches, or slams Julian Young to the mat. Have <laughs> I mentioned how much I hate this guy? Have I mentioned how much of a sellout he is? He used to be great. He used to be one of the most hated men in ISW, and now he's a walking, breathing joke. Shane Stevens caught on the top rope. Julian going up after him. Looks like he's setting up for a superplex. You know, I was gonna say, it's, it's funny that you say Shane Stevens did his homework, because if he would have done that in school, he might have graduated. Up and over by Shane Stevens, catches Julian Young. Nice, nice, this is gonna be it. I Julian am kicks out. Being impressed Shane, Shane Stevens, Stevens thought it should have been three. Matt Pettifer says it's only two and the match continues. And you hear that? You hear that? This crowd, this entire crowd is rallying behind Shane Stevens. Their hero, Julian Young, is in the ring and they like Shane Stevens even more. That's how much Julian is a sellout. He's a copo, and he's about to get fu- Oh! Misses the swanton bomb from the top rope. Julian rolls out of the way. That's what I was about to say. He's about to move out of the way. That's all right. He's not going to hit this. No, he's going to do it. No. Blocked. Blocked That's it. and rolls That's him it. up here. Oof. Count of one. That super kick would have been hit. Nice pinning combination there by both men. Back and forth. Shane Stevens again. Oh, Julian. bridging out. Very impressive. He bridged out at the last second. Now going for a backslide. Both men jockeying for position here. Oh, Super kick oh, by wow. Julian Young. Hooks the leg. I think it's over. It is. It's over. Julian Young defeats Shane Stevens. I'm pretty sure he just crushed his face. That was square in the mouth. Oof. Let me tell you something else, Daddy. Shane Stevens, I said earlier, if he would have done his homework, he would have graduated high school. The guy had, had to do grade six twice and thought that was it. Oh, he wants to talk. The man of a thousand words here wants to talk. I bet you it's horrible and has a Steve? French accent. Over there hiding on the announcer's booth? That's right, we all see you up there. You know what? I know you're flapping your gums, right talking all kinds of crap about me. Yeah, that's right. Truth. So you know what? Truth. I'm laying a challenge for you. I just had a match, I couldn't feel better. Right here, right now, you and me, let's finish this. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Arsenal asking for a mic. He's got something to say, I'm, I'm interested. I think his time at the announce table is over. You wanna face me right here tonight? That's what he said. Well, it was nice while You it people want him to face me right here tonight? Steve Arsenal up on the apron to answer the challenge. What's he gonna say? You guys want me to wrestle him? You guys want me to wrestle him? You guys want me to wrestle him? Ain't happening. Brutal. Brutal. Walking away with the arrogant strut to.
We've been asking the question all night who the guest referee is going to be between Titus and Brody Steele. We're going to find out who that is right here on Bell TV One next. When there is no more room in hell, the dead. In the apocalypse, all we need is cauldron power. The customer power. you are calling is unavailable at the moment. Please try again later. Right all day with my demons hanging out my window. Yeah, I'm off to kill that wicked witch. I'm like an awful magic when I'm shooting up the room with bullets full of magic. I'm like an awful magic. I'm like an awful magic. We need more fuel for the fire pit. Microphone, 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 yeah. We need more fuel for the fire pit DJ, 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 damage it We need more fuel for the fire pit Microphone, 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 damage it We need more fuel for the fire pit DJ, 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 time for some action Ready up, time to make a roll in this casket Rise up, time for some action Ready up, time to make a roll in this casket Power Cauldron power is scheduled for one fall. First, introducing the special referee for this match. Here we go. Who's it gonna be? Wildman Gary Williams. Oh yeah, a lot of history between Gary Williams and Brody Steele, former Cardinal Sinners. He's gonna have his walker when he comes to the ring. Will you stop? Show this man the respect he deserves. You can slap the taste out of your mouth, Rockstar. <laughs> Gary Williams <laughs> making his way around the ring here. He will be the man in charge and I feel very confident in saying that neither man is going to be able to push around the wild man. Look at him with that gang colors on his head. One, two, three. Gary Williams saying he will call it down the middle and there will be a three count. If there's anybody here we can trust, it's Gary Introducing Williams. Introducing first. This is one of the scariest men I've ever met. He's a walking mountain. Let me tell you something right now, Daddy. He is a walking mountain, but he puts most mountains to shame. I thank my lucky stars every day that I've never been in the ring with Brody Steele. <laughs> Only the special ones get high five Brody Steele, Daddy. Brody has no interest in slapping hands, high fives, none I of them. High five two of them. What I do notice about Brody Steele when he comes to the ring is that he's not as crappy as you. Well, that's a that's a given. I, I, I'm not taking anything away from Brody Steele. I notice that fans don't boo Brody Steele out of fear. Yeah. Look at that. They don't cheer but they don't boo either. His arms are bigger than most people's legs, Daddy. Going Gary. right into the face of Gary Williams. Immediately. And, and he's oh, asking man. for a mic. Just freaking look at me. No, seriously, get a good eyeful. Because it doesn't get any better than this. And when Titus comes out in a few minutes, get a good look at him too. Because he's never gonna look the same again when I'm done with him. Big words from a big man. And when I'm done with him, I'm gonna kick his 
Then I'm gonna step into the crowd and I'm gonna kick him. <laughs> then I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk chair to chair and everybody dies. Out about it, the most popular megastar in IHW. He's the this franchise. Is Titus. Oh. He's the franchise, and he's coming out now in a special guest referee match with Brody Steele. Gary Williams is going to have his hands full with this one. All three of these men have a lot of history. This could be very interesting, to say the least. I agree. The last time I saw these two men together, there was an altercation here at the announce table. I'm kind of hope oh. Cody Steele from behind. I didn't even see him get out of the ring. Titus making the mistake, the same mistake that he's made over and over and over again, and has taken his eyes off the man, the monster, the immovable object, the irresistible force, Brody Steele. There Danny. is no reason for a Don't man of the me. caliber of Brody Steele to have to sneak attack Titus. That's no, ridiculous. There's a perfectly good reason for him to attack him from behind. Cowardice? Because he needs to show Titus that it's stupid to turn your back on your opponent. It's an idiot move, and he needs to learn a lesson. Brody uh, Steele. Oh, well oh. scouted. I thought he was going to eat post. Drives oh. Brody Steele into the post. Did you just say it was scouted that he's going to hit his face on a ring post? He blocked it. You're an idiot. Brody rolls back in under the bottom well, rope. They need, Titus they in need, after him. They need to do a better job at doing your research for you. Shoulder blocked by Titus. Brody doesn't move. Close line and down goes Titus. Everything about Brody still scares me. Definitely. Going for an elbow. Titus rolls out of the way. Close line of his own. And another. Scoop and a slam by Titus. There's Gary not Williams. many megastars that can do that. Reversal by Titus. Caught by Brody Steele. Throws him over the top rope. Titus crashes to the floor. I have to agree there. I mean, Wild Man seemed to give him a little bit of crap, but he didn't do anything wrong. No. It was just a devastating move by a man who doesn't care about another man's well-being. Brody Steele now going out after Titus. Picks him up. Oh, oh drives his face off the ring apron. This, this is very entertaining to me. Brody back into the ring. Gary Williams issuing an account, issuing account to Titus. Not very often you see Titus in this kind of predicament. This early. It's ridiculous. You know, you'll see anyone in this kind of predicament when you have him in the ring with the man, Brody Steele. Brody Steele well. charges across the <laughs> ring, knee to the midsection, down goes Titus again. He's not even letting him back in the ring, guys. I'm we know this. I hate saying, saying it, but you're right, Rockstar. You're right. Look you, at the look at the cocky strut that Brody Steele has. Look at him. Look at them yelling at each other. Shano said it earlier. Everything Brody Steele has done so far has been legal. Just well, devastating. Yes. He wouldn't stoop to cheating like you people. Oh, come on. Titus is caught here on the outside. Brought back into the ring with authority. Brody Steele with a devastating suplex. The power of Brody Steele. Seeing it on display here. Everything he does is just methodical. It is. 
Look at this up at the middle rope. Brody Steele. Big man is time. about to fly. Oh, oh huge clothesline from the second rope. He is picking Titus apart. Going for the cover. Hey! Count it two. That's kind of slow. Slow? One, two, three. That's fast. One, two, count it two. Count it two. Shots to the midsection, and Brody's having none of it. Seriously, why would they pick Gary Williams as a special referee? He's asking for, he's telling Brody Steele to break the hold, and Brody is not. Titus trying to get this crowd behind him. Let me tell you something. I don't know. Again, I don't know why they picked Gary Williams to referee a match. The guy has a he, he has a hard time counting to three. He loses his count at banana. Come on, Brody Steele ducks under the boot. Oh. Sidewalk slam, going for the cover. Again, a count at two. Titus, tough as nails. Got stuck at banana again. Brody saying three, the crowd saying two. It's three. But most importantly, it was two. Gary Williams saying two, and he's the man in oh, charge. We're gonna here. see a choke slam. Brody steals patented finisher. No! Titus rolls him up here. Look at this. It's the way that Gary Williams win matches. Devastating clothesline by Brody Steele. Titus is down, standing on the hair. Look at this. He's standing. Oh, he's gonna he's, rip those dreadlocks out of his skull. He's standing on his hair and lifting him with nowhere to go. Gary Williams, not impressed. Gary Williams is just jealous because no one touches his hair anymore because he hasn't washed it since 1983. Rockstar just, okay. <laughs> Brody throws Titus into the corner, doesn't whip him, actually throws him. The devastating power of Brody Steele. <laughs> and one, with one hand, Did tosses you see Titus aside. Did you see the smile? The smile on Brody Steele's face. He truly enjoys tearing Titus apart. I didn't see the smile, but it's just mainly because I don't think Brody Steele ever smiles. That's not true. He truly enjoys tearing Titus apart. I don't disagree that he enjoys it. I just don't think he's smiling. And you know, yeah, Rockstar, you're an idiot. You know, Rockstar, I have to agree with you. He is destroyed. <laughs> Picks up Titus by his hair and throws him to the canvas. Gary Williams now in the face of Brody Steele. You never, you never see Titus manhandled like this. No, you don't. I said at the start of this match, he's the franchise of IHW and he's being Decimate it right now by Brody Steele. <laughs> like never yeah. before. Maybe it's time to find a new franchise, Daddy. Brody Maybe going Burger to the King second is row. This is with an elbow. Titus rolls out of the way. When you're that big, that hurts way more. The thing Should is, he shakes the entire ring and it hurts everybody. Titus. Might be able to take advantage of the situation. Brody Steele, yeah, no, it's too late. Brody's getting back to his feet here. Titus had a window of opportunity. Oh, Caught in another slam city. Titus breaks out of it. Repeat it, right hands. Off the rope, oh, caught no. again. Jeez, Titus, good job. Never underestimate Titus. Huge forearm by Titus. Taking the big man off his feet. Reversal by Brody Steele, Titus into the corner. Brody rushes in, he oh, hit with a oh. huge boot. Took his head off, Titus, come on buddy. Titus going, is, going out to the top rope here. Titus wasting time, it's, you can't waste time like this on a man like Brody Steele. A big man like Brody Steele needs to be hit with big moves. And huge elbow. Was a big move. Right to the heart here. 
Whoa! <laughs> you can't get much closer to three than that. You Gary Williams oh man. saying You're, just just by an inch. You're not going to take out Brody Steele by trying to go for oh, the heart geez, either. Jeez, no, no, no! Huge, <laughs> huge choke slam going for the cover. That's it. Are you Gary kidding Williams me? The slow it was count. over. I thought that was over for sure. Well, of course it's not over. Look how slow he was counting it. Oh, you come get on, Rockstar. He's calling it right down the middle so far. Don't be a That's jerk. Bull. Brody That's Steele bull. arguing with the referee. Gary Williams here. Gary saying it was two. Oh! oh don't put your <laughs> hands on the official, Brody Steele. <laughs> Brody just manhandling, sho shoving Gary. No, Gary pushes the back. Oh, come on. Not taking any crap. No, oh, it's over. Come on. Titus with the victory over Brody Steele. That count was Look twice as fast. That's what happens that when you piss off the wild man. That was twice as fast a count as the one that he did for Brody Steele. It's disgusting. It's cheating. And it's cheap. It you do not sick. put your hands. You do not put your hands on the official, especially when that official is Gary Williams. Well, let me tell you something, Shano. You don't. When you're the referee, you call it down the middle. You don't count twice as fast for one guy just because he's your buddy than the other guy because you don't like him and you're afraid of him. If the roles were reversed, you'd be happy as a clam, Rockstar. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to IHW Unstoppable. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you watch us on demand, Bell TV One. You can also find us at bellalliant.ca slash TV One, ISW.ca. And for all news on upcoming special events with Innovative Hybrid Wrestling and TV, check out Innovative Hybrid Wrestling, Hybrid Online on the TPC Network and at tpcnetwork.com and on iTunes. Until next time, see you later. Good night, everybody.